In this video, we're going to talk about how to deal with double headers inside of Power BI. Shall we listen to this guy? Let's go. So let's talk about the problem of double headers. Now to understand what the problem actually is and how to solve it, we need to first understand what unpivoting is. So let's use that as a starting point. Now let's take this table over here as our example, where we have sales data for different products for different years. Now, if you leave it like this and start working with it in Power BI, you might run into troubles very quickly. Let me show you why. So here I have the same data imported in Power BI. So we have a corresponding field for each column, 2018 till 2020, and a product column. Now let's create a simple matrix visualization. So let's take product, I'm gonna put it onto the visualization. Now I wanna show my sales values. So, well, there's not just one sales field. I have to show the sales values, I have to grab 2018, put it in there, 2019, put it in there, 2020. I have to click on each year column to add them to my matrix visualization. And if I want to show the grand total for each product, well, this is not possible. Hmm. And what if I maybe now want to show the average sales over all of the years? Well, we, we have a problem. It's not possible, or at least very difficult to do. So how can we solve this? Now we need to unpivot our data. So the data set that we have over here shouldn't look like this, but like this. Now here we took our year columns, 2018, 19, and 20, and converted them into just one year column. So we ended up with three times as many rows as before. However, our three columns are now just one. So we have product, year, and sales. Now with this data structure, we can work efficiently in Power BI. Let's see this. Now here in Power BI, we have one field for each corresponding column. So product, sales, and the year. So if I want to show, let's say, the average sales amount for the different products, I just simply go over here, click on sales. I want to break it down by product. And here I can change the summary aggregation to let's say average. And additionally, you also see that we have now grand totals and that was problematic before. So how does this now relate to our double header problem? Well, if we want to unpivot something, then we just go over here to either the product column and then say unpivot other columns, or you select the year columns and then say unpivot columns, which then restructures the data set in a way that we need it to be where we have one product column, one year column, and one sales column. With double headers, you cannot just simply click on unpivot. Now let's see an example. So here we have example number two, where we have sales numbers broken down by the different products. But now we also have over here, the regions, Europe, Asia, and then below it, you have either 2018, 19, 20, just like before, or here I replace it with revenues, units, and average selling price, just different metrics. So, we have two headers, one that shows the region, one that shows the metric. Now let's use the unpivot feature of Power BI to unpivot the data set that we have over here. So here we are in the query editor of Power BI. I'm gonna to go to transform and then make sure that the product column here, the first column is selected, and then I unpivot all the other columns. And you see we have a product column, okay, that's fine. However, then we have a weird column where it just says column two till column seven, okay? And then we have over here a value column. However, I do not see any information on to what region and what metrics these values belong that I have over here in the value column. So something went wrong. So let's see exactly how to fix this. So I'm gonna start with the original data set here. Now, when you're dealing with double headers, then one of the things that you want to do before unpivoting is transposing, which just simply means that you take the first row make it the first column, second row, make it the second column, etc. That's what I'm gonna do by going here to transform, then click on transpose. And now that we have the first row as the first column, we can do the column transformation fill down so that we fill up the missing data over here in column one. So I'm gonna to go to transform, fill, fill down. Now the first row contains information about the product. So let's make this first row headers which you can do by going to transform and then use first row as headers all right so now we are ready to enter it so let's take our first two columns and then go to transform and unpivot other columns there you go in the first column we have the region 
then we do not have the products, but these are the metrics. And then we have the product column. And then we have the values for the corresponding metrics. Now, if you say, actually, this is also problematic to have all of the values in one column, I would just to prefer to have a revenue column, units column, ASP column. We can do this, no worries. Then you just go here to the metrics column and then you do pivot column. So we do the reverse from before and we have as a values column then, of course, the value column and press OK. So now we created our data set where we have the region, product, and then separate columns for each uh, matrix, revenues, units, and every selling price. We dealt with our first example of how to deal with double headers, but let's now make it even more complex. So here we have a table and we have similar data as before, Europe, Asia, different metrics, but we have now also here a product category column at the beginning and we have some total rows in between. So here you see the data set inside of Power BI and we have column one, which contains the product category. Now let's first fill up the missing data. Okay, so I'm gonna go to transform, fill, fill down so that we fill everything down. And so it fills up all of the nulls that were there. Now, then second of all, we have some totals over here that we want to get rid of. So I'm gonna go here to column two and filter out the totals. All right, so we cleaned up our data set a little bit. Let's now have a closer look. So here we have Europe, there Asia. Then we have the second level of our headers, which contains information on the metrics. So we know that before pivoting, we need to use transpose. So let's go to transform, transpose, and hmm. Something is still not right because here we have in the first row now product category and then in the second row we have the product. So again we have double headers. Huh. How, to, how to solve this? Well, let's go one step back. I'm going to delete this last step. Now what you do first before transposing is that we're going to combine these two columns so that when we transpose we only have one row that contains the header information before we then make that data. Okay, let's see this in practice. So I'm gonna take our first two columns, then I go to transform, and then over here, I'm gonna use merge columns. Now let's put in a custom separator, and this needs to be something that is not in the name of the product category or in the name of the product. So this could be space and then pipe symbol and then space. Now the new column name, just leave it as merge, that's fine, all right? And now we have all of that product info in one column. Now we can use transpose. And the big difference from before is that all of this header information is now in one row, which you then can promote to headers. So I'm gonna to go to transform and then use first row as headers. All right, that looks already a little bit better. Now here in the first column, we still have some nulls. Let's fill this down. So here we have the region. Then we have over here the metric, okay? And then we have all of the values, okay? So, and these are the columns that need to be unpivoted. So I'm gonna take these first two columns, go to transform and then unpivot other columns. So now that we have our data unpivoted, we can go here to the attribute column and we can split it, okay? And we're gonna use a delimiter which is gonna be the pipe symbol that we used before to actually merge these two columns from before, the product and the product category data. All right, so that was space, pipe symbol, space. Now here it doesn't really matter which one you take, then click on okay. Now the first column over here is the category. And then we have one column for the product. And then we have our value column. And here, if we also want to pivot the different metrics so that we have separate columns for each metric, we just go here to metric, pivot column, and then use the value column as the values column. And there you go. We dealt again with our double header problem. And we have region, category, product, revenues, units, ASPs. So we have seen how to deal with double headers inside of Power BI. If you have any other related ideas then share them in the comments box below if you liked it and want to learn more about power bi then consider subscribing to our channel and give it a thumbs up thank you very much and see you in the next video